And now our continuing series on the 100 greatest singers of all time. At number 57, Eric Burden. The Rolling Stone magazine writes, Of all the British invasion singers, Eric Burden had the most physically imposing voice. Stephen Van Zandt said, When he burst onto the scene in 1964, his voice was big and dark. He invented the genre of the white guy singing low. Nor was the depth of Burden's pitch lost on Steven Tyler when he first heard Burden sing The House of the Rising Sun. He said, I thought, aha, you start off the song an octave lower so you can flam the tail end of it an octave higher. Now, after his run of hits with the animals, It's My Life, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood ended. Burden showed that he could handle 70s funk during his stint in war. Recording a sold-out version of Tobacco Road and the torrid Spill the Wine. Our song for today is Spill the Wine. It's from the group's first album, entitled Eric Burden and War. It was war's first chart hit. It peaked at number three in the U.S. Billboard ranked the record as the number 20 song of 1970. In the introduction to the live version of the song on Greatest Hits Live, Lonnie Jordan reveals that the inspiration for the song was a time when he spilled a glass of wine on a mixing board in the recording studio. Eric Burden found the event funny, so he and Jordan used it as the inspiration for the song. Eric Burden in War. Of course, Eric on lead vocals, Lee Oscar on harmonica, Charles Miller on tenor sax and flute, Howard Scott on guitar, Lonnie Jordan on organ and piano, B.B. Bickerson on bass, Harold Brown on drums, and D. Allen on the conga. It's our continuing series on the 100 greatest singers of all time. And at number 57, Eric Burden. summer's day when I thought I'd lay myself down to rest in a big field of tall grass I lay there in the sun and felt it caressing my face as I fell asleep and dreamed I dreamed I was in a Hollywood movie that I was the star of the movie This really blew my mind The fact that me An overfed, long-haired, leaping gnome Should be the star of a Hollywood movie mm. There I was mm. I was taken to a place The Hall of the Mountain King Now wait a minute, I know I'm lying in a field of grass somewhere 
So it's all in my head. And then I heard her say one more time. Feel hot flames of fire roaring at my back as she disappeared, but soon she returned. In her hand was a bottle of wine, in the other a glass. She poured some of the wine from the bottle into the glass. Raised it to her lips, and just before she drank it, she said, "Take it away." 